Hello everybody, I'm Krasi. I'm a sidereal astrologer. Today I will talk about the solar eclipse, the partial solar eclipse, which will happen May, very soon between 5th and 6th of January 2019. Um, I found this eclipse important for analysis because quite interesting conjunction of planets is happening exactly in the point of the eclipse. And this certainly will manifest in events for us. I will make my brief analysis from the point of view of the ancient Babylonian astronomers because they used to be very good in analysis of eclipses and they used to be a very knowledgeable in the predictive values of the eclipses. In, in Babylon, in the ancient cultures, also the Vedic culture, the eclipses were considered negative, even quite... Um, dramatic events. Now this solar eclipse is partial and it is happening when the sun is hidden partially only by the lunar disk. So um, the, it will be visible according to the website of NASA from North Pacific, part of Asia, India I think also, Beijing, part of Russia, Sioux, Taipei and Tokyo. It won't be visible from Europe and not from complete from the complete America, but still we will make analysis in order to see which countries will be influenced from this eclipse. Let's say that it is also believed that there where the shadows of the eclipse pass, these countries will experience from the uh, influence of the eclipse. That the highest uh, point of the eclipse is happening just between the 5th and the 6th of January at night. The eclipse is taking place in Sagittarius. Sagittarius is a sign which is known for our era to be the place of the winter solstice. If eclipse is happening in tropical place of such important like the place of the solstices or the place of the equinoxes, then we know that the results of this eclipse will be felt heavily for us on mundane level and also maybe uh, individual level but we will see exactly how the eclipse is happening in the when we divide the nights and the dates into parts we see in which parts the eclipse falls these parts are called watches and if the eclipse is happening in the middle night watch we know that it will be influencing us for about six months after the event takes place. So six months after it takes place, we will feel the affliction of this um, eclipse. China and Asia also belong to this particular watch. So indeed, they will be experiencing as well the influences, like we said, part of Asia, Russia, Taipei, Tokyo. This is also noted because the shadows of the eclipse will pass there. So what are we having there? I will show you in a second uh, by sharing my screen the map of the eclipse, the chart of the eclipse. So what do we have in uh, Sagittarius is the Milky Way. E through the Milky Way, the nebula of the Milky Way, uh, we have Saturn invisible, Moon invisible, we have Mercury invisible but ready to become visible in six days after the eclipse to become hel to rise heliacally. So Saturn invisible, Mercury invisible, Moon, Sun, and even Pluto. Quite um, complex combination of planets. And it is saying, it is said that, I said in six days after this eclipse, Mercury will become visible as a morning star. And let's not forget that Mercury is a planet which can be influenced, can, uh, can obtain the characteristics of the planet that is conjoint with or that receives aspect with and in this case mercury receives many receives saturnine energies and mercury which is responsible for prosperity for trade for speech for media uh, is conjoint with saturn and receives a lot from the saturnine energies and they are eclipsed in a way as with together with the, with the sun so they participate in this eclipse and this is very important and we will see how this will influence us in a second 
So what is happening, let's see, by one by one, the planets according to the ancient Babylonian Omena. So what is happening when the moon is darkened, the moon is dark in the area of Sagittarius? It is bad for a cut, hostilities. Uh, the king of the countries can be in trouble because Saturn is also representing the rulership, the king. Um, so what is happening? The, the ACAT stands for Europe. So some countries can be in trouble. And according to the Vedic Indian astrology, the countries which are represented by Sagittarius are Spain, uh, Arabia, Hungary, Cologne, part of Germany, part of UK, part of Spain, also part of, uh, part of the States, um, Egypt, Belgium, so Europe will be quite afflicted by this eclipse. When Mercury becomes visible in, Sagitt in the month of Kislim, which is the place, uh, which is uh, the month of the eclipse, there will be robbers, there will be robberies. So also, when Saturn is in the moon, with the moon, there is a lot about truth. The truth will be spoken. But here we have darkened Saturn. We have darkened uh, Mercury, who is very much about to, be, to, to stand up and represent freedom of speech, prosperity, uh, communication. What is happening? The truth will be darkened. There will not be truth heard by medias. In general, the truth will suffer because Saturn is invisible and will be darkened also uh, by the eclipse. I noted some countries, uh, especially uh, European countries, because this eclipse is very much about Europe. Uh, so what is happening is that some rulers in Europe may be badly influenced because when Saturn is dim in the eye of the eclipse, the king can have can be in trouble, and Saturn is also ruling the very many countries which are on the Balkans and the Balkan area of uh, of Europe. So these countries will be heavily afflicted in terms of hostilities, in terms of terrorism, possible in terms of um, as we said robbers. And this is because of the ancient omen, which is which was about uh, Mercury. So. I cannot, even if I want, I cannot be positive in relation to the expected results from the eclipses because they are dramatic events. They are like a portal which is open for the dark uh, spirit, for the dark forces to come. So, unfortunately, we need to pass through this with a very high vibration on spiritual level. So, what is also happening, now let me uh, show you my screen. So this is the chart of the eclipse. This is not the exact timing, but I decided for easy um, analysis just to show you the eclipse on the descendant. So these are the conjunction of five planets, Mercury, invisible, ready to become visible, the Moon, Saturn, the Sun, and Pluto are together. Where is Mercury exactly? So Mercury is on the sting and, um, of the arrow. And this particular position is very much about hostilities, about um, warlike events. The moon, Saturn, and the sun all together are in the nebula of Sagittarius. Now this nebula is not considered evil, but imagine just an example. If a person would have this nebula and luminary in the exact conjunction in the nebula of Sagittarius, which is the 18 degree Sagittarius Siberia link, typically these people will have sight, eyesight problems or will wear glasses or will have eye troubles of, of different uh, character. So what is happening here symbolically this will be uh, 
some issues related to our faith, to our belief, because of the placement of Jupiter in Scorpio, there could be manifestations of religion and beliefs not in a very positive way. So in this sense, this can be quite um, bad result of this particular conjunction in the nebula of Sagittarius. Moreover, what I just said, Sagittarius is a very important sign related to the point of the winter uh, equinox, uh, solstice, excuse me. Pluto is there, Pluto, Saturn, it's all about secretive matter, it's all about media and lies, which will continue misleading. So never trust media, never trust mainstream media, mainstream astrology, anything which is a mainstream, put under question and make your own analysis. So basically, uh, this is very important. And also, Mercury is about prosperity. Mercury is about trade. And this eclipse is happening, happening on the night of Mercury. So the trade, the markets will be volatile. They will be, uh, they will be eclipsed. They will go through changes, not very positive, because Saturn is also uh, conjoined participating in the eclipse and is invisible. The prices of the gold can be not very good. Uh, the only positive thing which may re be a result of this eclipse is that the oil prices can go down, but I'm not sure that they will be really down also on the, on the market for people. So the trade will suffer by the volatility of the markets. Uh, so be very cautious when you're buying, when you're doing your own trade, when you're participating on the markets, certainly for about six months after January, the eclipse will be influencing the markets, in a, not in a very good way. The, uh, the prices of the properties may suffer as well, also because of the position of Saturn, which is aspecting Mars. And Let's also not forget that the eclipses never come alone and there will be another eclipse which will be a complete lunar eclipse and which is happening on the 21st of January and which will, have, which will add up to this eclipse. Um, so we should not take this dramatically. Eclipses happen all the time, four or five eclipses per year. But this eclipse is quite important because of the complexity of it, even though it's partial. How to overcome this eclipse? Never look an eclipse with naked eye, never look an eclipse. I know that if we really want to make proper analysis of the eclipse, it's very good to go outside, see what is happening around the moon, see the color of the moon, see the color of the eclipse, see if there are winds, see if there is rain, all this will add up to the information and the analysis of the eclipse. But to tell you, I am not going to go out and look, look at the eclipse, even if I am aware that this will be very uh, useful in terms of analysis. Don't look at the eclipse. Don't expose your food to the eclipse. So at this particular night, 5th to the 6th of January, put your food on a closure, like in the refrigerator or somewhere. Just don't expose your water and your food to the eclipse. Don't eat during the eclipse. Pray, meditate, uh, connect with the white spirit world. This is a timing where we should not do important medical interventions, or this is a time where we should not uh, start anything, new beginnings, absolutely not. Also, uh, stay at home. A the ancients would stay in the temple, would pray, would do some rituals in order to soften the um, afflictions of the eclipse. If the king would be uh, eclipsed, and in this case, we can think that um, the, some rulers of European countries in particular will suffer this eclipse. So they would perform very specific rituals, rituals for the king. Some of the rituals were very, I would say very aggressive, but I, I would rather not talk negative um, things, but connect to the spirit world. And remember, this is not so so dramatic as there are very often eclipses happening, but it, but it is important 
to be aware of the consequences and to be aware always to stay on the right side, always to be empathic and to keep our vibrational level very high. So with this I'm completing and soon I will talk about the uh, very serious moon eclipse which is happening on the 21st of January and which will be covering uh, more countries than this one. Thank you. With this I am completing.